Enemy shields! Shut him down his cover! These fuckers mean business! This way. The locking mechanism requires two operators. Follow me! Quantum entanglement. This single device has more processing power than your entire military infrastructure. Rumors around the lab were that Menendez plans to use it as a basis for a massive cyber attack. I, I heard talk of something called Karma. It may be the, the name for the cyber weapon. If Menendez uses a solarium worm to initiate an attack, there will be nothing anyone can do to stop it. Support team! Behind us! We got incoming! Crack it! Harper requesting confirmation on extraction team's ETA! Defensive positions! Kraken, come in! Damn it, no response! We'll fight our way out, with or without support! This ain't over yet! Your team can stand up. It's Briggs. Stand down. It's the extraction team. Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. I guess we can call this mission accomplished. Admiral Briggs, good to see you. You too, Sergeant. Whatever Menendez is planning, Solarium is the key to it. Well, we finally got one over on this cocksucker. He's just a man, Admiral. He'd like you to think he's something more. But he ain't nothing but a sad old pitiful excuse of a man.
I can't figure out Menendez without getting inside his fucking head. Salazar, you grew up in Nicaragua during his rise to power. You know his legends better than anyone. Tell me, why does he hate us so much? Tu primera guerra fría. As a boy, he witnessed the country's rape and murder his people. In 1972, there was a colossal earthquake. His family lost everything. A year later, the only thing he ever loved, his sister Josefina, was crippled in a fire. Raul and his father started over, sold drugs for easy money. They became rich, powerful legends of Managua. The Menendez cartel was all but untouchable, so the CIA took out Raul's father in a U.S. sanctioned assassination. Right, so now Menendez fucking hated America and started running guns in Afghanistan for his own private army. The CIA got wind of it, went on the hunt for him in Kabul. That was the photo Wood showed us in the vault, remember? See that handsome bastard? That's me. The only one's your father. After Nam. The numbers and all that? I mean, he was one dangerous son of a bitch. <laughs> It's showtime, Mason! What'd you see, Woods? Sand. Sand and more fucking sand. Hudson's contact's on his way. You reckon we can trust the Chinese? We can't hear. They've been supporting the Mujahideen, same as us. They know if Russia was in Afghanistan, they'd be looking at China next. No one likes the Russians, huh? You know me. I don't like anyone. You might want to get your head down. Take it easy, Sal! You deliver the weapons. Now, what about your end of the deal? I will take you to the leader of the Mujahideen. He can help you find Raoul Menendez. Now, we have fresh horses. You will follow. Oh, shit. Let's do it. Mason, it's Hudson. Did you make contact with Jiao? We're on our way to the Mujahideen camp now. I'm sure I don't need to remind you that our presence here must remain 100% deniable. There will be serious consequences if Russia learns of our involvement in Afghanistan. The only way they'll find out is they take us down. Yo, that ain't gonna happen. an attack on the camp. Major, kick it up yeah. the gear! Yeah! If a Russian attack is indeed imminent, you're gonna need all the help you can get. I've arranged for a couple of specialists to act in an advisory capacity. Here they are now. Ramon, this is Woods and Mason, my two best men. We need weapons, not soldiers. This should be good. Just so we're clear, we hold off the Russian attack, you give us what you have on Menendez. Our base is here. 
Any advance will come through one of the narrow passes leading into the valley. I know this. Our men defend these mountains. Our weapons will give them an edge. That's a bullshit plan. We're talking about the Russian army here. They come at you a brute force, which means strength in numbers and heavy armor. Are your men ready for that? They have no experience with the weaponry we brought. And we do. We belong on the front line. The Russian assault has begun. Yalla! Yalla, Borobirun! You have faith in your plans, America. I got more than faith, Zhao. Let's rock it. We must hurry! We cannot allow them to enter the valley! Settle up, Mason. be tougher than we thought. We got hips dropping infantry right in front of the camp. Please up there, move that D. Just get to the choke points and hold back the armor. history! Blow yourself up! Blow it, Mason! Hudson, the West Choke Point is secure! Armor ain't getting through this way! Woods, Mason, they're throwing everything they have at us. We've got threats all over the valley. Bouger reporting rushing tanks moving in from the north. Brute force and strength in numbers? You expected such a fight. Doesn't mean I wanted it! Yeah. 
Losing the base. Hit the tanks! Enemy tanks are firing on the base. The moose can't hold the base much longer. Tanks are down. We're seeing enemy helos approaching from the east. Make sure they don't push through to the base. We're on it, Hudson. Bring it to us, Hudson! Ground those Russian bastards! for the gunships right above the base. God the fucking hit this! The base. base and the base is under threat. Hudson! The gunships are grounded! Russian tanks are advancing north of the valley. Roger that, Hudson. Moving to intercept. That's right. Yeah! Down and out, Hudson! The Russians have overrun the Moosh ammo cache to the east. Do whatever is necessary to recapture it. Mula Roman is concerned. He thinks we're losing the fight. You tell Rana from me, I'll give a shit about his concerns. We'll kick fucking ass same as always. Just tell him he better come through with his intel on the net desk. The ammo cache is left of the valley. The path is impassable by horse. Dismount! We will proceed on foot! Infantry! Fast roping in! Hudson, the ammo cache is ours! Mason, return to base. What kind of problem? problem? You better see for yourself. was one tough son of a bitch. Bet your ass he was. Kravchenko basically carved a hole in his head and he shoved those fucking numbers in there and he survived that. Well, <laughs> Mason said he didn't see those numbers anymore, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Mason, better take a look. This isn't over yet. The Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me?
Mace, better take a look. This isn't over yet. The Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me? Kravchenko. Piece of shit. Of course he's involved in all this. Kravchenko must die. A couple times, I saw the tick. And I get that look in his eyes. He's scanning the room. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's talking to the Russian. Fucking Reznov. Good old Tricky Vic. Woods. Maybe I should handle this interrogation. Maybe you stay the fuck out of my way. I got unfinished business with this bastard. Ugh. 